The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. If you're building, or buying, or selling a home, the real estate crew's got news for you at the Real Estate House Party. With attorney Rick Carter. Real Estate House Party. Paralegal Kathy Holsthausen. Real Estate House Party. Come in, have fun. And comedian Tony V. Now, here's real estate attorney Rick Carter. You know, when you really show your dimples hey, when you hey, do that. Hey. Oh, thanks for doing this. Oh, come on, Rick. You're edit already, that. You know, this isn't live. Is you're it? already we, off script. We, we, we can edit this later on. No. Welcome to the real estate house no, party. No, 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 no. Welcome, Welcome yeah. to the real estate house party. There you go. Sounds like the guy in uh, oh my Good God. Morning this Vietnam. This is how this yeah. is going to go, Frank. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and joining. Oh, no, you didn't finish. Start over. All right. Good thing this is not Welcome live. Welcome to. Oh, Whoa. yeah. You're going, go back, going back that far. No. Wait a minute. Yes, not we live. are. <laughs> no, it is. Yeah. <laughs> if you're building or buying a or salad renting, at home, no, that's not what we're doing. Okay. Real estate. Go ahead. Crews go ahead. have news for you at the real estate house party. The real estate house party. <laughs> Doesn't the sound like you're at a party right house now. Party, come in and have <laughs> Can you have a sip of that coffee and <laughs> yeah. get back to us? Come on, Rick, go. All right, All right. no, no, we kind of lost the intro, but welcome to the real estate house party. Yeah. Welcome to the real estate house there party with Ka- Kathy Oldsauer, yep. paralegal extraordinaire, Tony V, who seems very chipper today. I'm very good today. Very good yep. today. Yep. And we have a special guest today. Yes, we do. Frank Cinarelli of The Sopranos. And, Thank you very woo! much. And when, yeah, one of my oldest and dearest friends in I comedy know. and out of comedy. We, we yeah. raised our children together. Oh, we got no one. way. Yep. Vac- vacation together. And if you knew our <laughs> Was children. Was it like vacation? I'm serious. Vaca- <laughs> How many no, times? Yeah, 10 years movie? in a row. Oh, easy. Easily 10 Easily. years in a row. We yeah. went to Gun- yeah. Gunkwit, Maine. Yeah. Rented a house together, yeah. two separate sides of the house, yeah. kids running all over the place. Yeah. That so must have been so hysterical. We're, so yeah. we're going to ask each fun. one of you, like, what is like Plus, vacation if, with Frank Santarelli? Well, if you haven't met and our what kids, is it like? if you ever met our kids, we you'd know kids. they were raised by us. <laughs> well, I know <laughs> so your kids, and your kids are lovely. They're lovely. That's too. probably because of your wife, right? Yes. Yo, yeah, you yep. got to have a good yep. part. How many kids do you have, Frank? Two. Two daughters. I remember you bringing them to the Celtics game. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that's right. Remember that? Yes, I do. I said, eh, go out and shoot a few baskets. Yeah, and then, then we got of, yelled at. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Guy goes, what are you doing here? I said, Rick Carter said. He goes, who? Get out of here. <laughs> My kids are trying to, try to do a layup. I go, do a layup. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> and they're going, what? That's what? funny. My, like, sister, my daughter has missed like seven times in a row. I know. I was from sweating From point blank range. I was saying, please get one. And please oh, get one. my God. It was funny because I didn't see the conversation going on. All I heard, all I saw was expressions. And he's there. <laughs> and then all I see is the, all of you pointing over to me. Let's go. Hit the bricks. Going out I the said, back Whoops. door. Yeah. <laughs> so what's it like vacationing with with Tony? It's Pete? great. It's great. Except there's sand in everything. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. We used to vacation sandwiches right on, the beach. on the couch in, the, and in your pants. In, oh, oh, did you have awful. pants on? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, you did not have pants a bathing on. Suit. Bathing suit. Bathing okay. suit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That I mean, was really good. Sometimes we would ride our bikes. With, you ever ride a bike with sand in your pants? That's sure. terrible. Yeah, it's, it's, it, you exfoliate your derriere. <laughs> you know, which is which is kind of fine if you just go straight ahead. But if, you know, there's like ass skin flying behind you and stuff like that. Now, what is, what is the age There's where... an upside to this. What okay, is well, I'm sorry. Uh, I believe I cultivated a pearl. <laughs> Oh, my God. Wow. Did you think this up beforehand? No, that's an old, old joke of mine. Okay. Now, what's the age where kids stop? I mean, you know how kids just roll around in mud and in the beach and, and get covered up to their neck, and yes. they think that's no problem? Yeah. What age does that stop? Well, I'll tell you this. I know what age. It's stop. not 24, because <laughs> Gus still does it. Does he? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I wish, and let me preface this show, too. I wish we had taped the first part of the show. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. You no, have a we, reputation. We, we, we wouldn't be able to put it on no. our, part, on our no. um, Facebook. Maybe in other parts of the world. No, yeah. In because Australia, we, yes, clearly you can. We were throwing around a word that you can't use here, but other people use liberally. And well, I never looks, heard that. Looks right at me. Hard eye contact. Yeah. Other people I'm use quite right. liberally. Right. Do you use that word a lot in Australia? Yeah. All right. All right. You just throw it around. You're yeah, from I Australia? Just throw, yeah. Okay. You just you throw it around. No, you just know. thought I was an arrogant American using that word? He wants to know where you can get his, your I hair. I want my, my hair to my, be purple. But 
I'll, we can take I'll care of that, Frank. My <laughs> I I'll talk to you after the show. Are you Frank with purple here? No. You want to no. know how much that word is really used in Australia? Yeah. So my late husband, I was introducing him to family friends over there, and the father was there, and the wife and the daughter came out, and he said, and these here are my wife and daughter. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. And oh not God. like, and it's, yeah. you don't bat an eyelid. Yeah. I mean, my husband did. He's American. Yeah, and he yeah, was yeah. Like, Excuse yeah. me, are you mad at them? And, and let me say, just for the record, we're completely wrong. Yeah. The rest of the world is right. We should well, just we can throw... start a revolution. Yeah, I tried. Uh, me yeah. and Renee are going to do it. Yeah. Our next, our next call in sick. S- speaking <laughs> of Renee, we're going to thank trying. our studio audience. We've Actually, yeah. and I'm not exaggerating right now, I think our audience today has almost doubled since last, it has. last it has. week. And we want to thank everyone who's been Words pouring in all out. day long. But Words Renee getting... pulled, her, pulled herself away from her off her desk. Her office in Rockport, I think it is, <laughs> to, to um, show Don't up. Don't tell everyone we're doing this. we got to look like we're somewhat in the office once she in a while. She has computers everywhere. I know. I have four different, four different cities I can work out. I do, too. I have I two. Know. I know. Well, I, know. I have three. Salem, Manchester, and Waterboro. Frank, how many can you work out of? How many? <laughs> i got to tell you, I hate to go off book here, but you're the only one out of us right now that looks like a NASCAR pit crew boss. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it, okay. And what's the problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I got to ask you guys uh, a bunch of questions. We, we are going to talk a lot of real estate. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he why, why, why are you going to? Why are you going to lie to the people? That's, That's why I un- renamed the right. show. On yeah, top of everything else, why lie? That's I statement. have I have the top twenty five real scams, real estate scams out there that well, I let's thought. Get can I, can I, can no, I no, 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 no. We got a couple questions we got to talk right. about for us. And we're thinking if we don't get through all 25, maybe Frank will come back in the next couple of weeks. He's got a long drive. Like, and maybe he can wear the same shirt. <laughs> For the next couple of weeks so we can get through it all. That sentence should have stopped that we're going to talk a lot. That's it. Yeah, we're going to talk a lot. That's right. That's right. Period. That's so I got to ask you two. I mean, you guys have some pretty famous roles over the, over the years. Yeah. You know, but let's talk about pre, pre-Sopranos, the elevator man. Oh, my God. I know. You saw that? With Mark Maron. I know all about it. Wait, was that a movie? No, no. No, It was um, HBO Downtown Productions. It was shot in New York City, and it was a fake elevator like this, and we would go down into a vault. It had a bunch of hosts. It had Laura Keitlinger, Kevin Meany, had different hosts over the years, and the last one was Mark Maron, and I was his elevator elevator man. We'd go down into a vault. It was the dumbest thing ever. (laughs) And show clips of comedians. That's all. That's That's all it it was. That's all it was. Like Short Gary- attention span theater <laughs> was the name of it. <laughs> yeah. Was it? Yeah. I was featured uh, prominently sasty. on that. Yeah, yeah. Were you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You had like uh, all the all the comedians from the, like Gary Marshall and. You know what? He was on. William Shatner came. No Not way. I swear to God, I worked with William Shatner. What was he got, like? He was great. He I I couldn't believe he was Jonathan Groff. Remember he was a producer. Yeah, sure. Um, he says William Shatner's coming. I said, No way. Wow. You have got to be. And sure enough, he walked onto the set. <laughs> Like this. Like he does I love him. He's this tall. You know? <laughs> I go, Mr. And I'm dressed as an elevator guy. And he sits down in this chair. And I go, Mr. Shatner, I'm, I, got, I can't believe you're here. I said, I'm a big fan of yours. My dad, Star Trek. He said, watch, here comes the ship. You went like that. And he's looking up at me like this. I go, I'm a huge fan. He goes, you really are rather large, aren't you? <laughs> and he was great. I mean, he was really cool. And he was so totally nice. And you're not going to believe this. In the, he's sitting in an old-fashioned chair like this. And he's talking to Mark Maron, and the chair breaks. No. No, sir. He goes, bam! And his knees are up like this. And he looks at me and he goes, I'm a big star. I can't believe you guys put me in this chair. (laughs) (laughs) It broke right underneath him. I swear to God. Gary Marshall. um, Penny Marshall, maybe? No, no, just Gary. um, All kinds of famous people. I I escaped. You just threw me right there. I didn't think that was going to come up at all. That was a fastball. That was eons ago. That was eons ago. (laughs) No softballs for Frank. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. I got that gig. I couldn't believe it. It was was good money, and I I was on for like three minutes. Then I'm in the elevator at the end, and he's there. And we're going down in the thing, and I go, I got to do this. I got to do this, Michelle. He goes, what? I go, that's the captain's guts you're analyzing. You were that Spock. You pointed here at Hop Goblin. I'm going, I'm doing all these lines from Star Trek. And he goes, is there any way to stop him? <laughs> is there any way to stop him? I'm doing all these lines of William Shatner. I couldn't believe it was them. I really couldn't. Wow. Captain Kirk. Was this the awesome. r- same time as... Uh, Tony had the uh, gorilla man, gorilla yeah, suit. Right, it was around the same time. Around the same sure. time. Yeah. Now, yeah. Look, now look at you guys. Yeah. Doing the real estate house party. Well, hold on though. I, I'm, 
I'm a little, um, Tony, you didn't tell us that you were in 4th of July. I didn't mention that? Nope. I know you're so... Rude. I'm in the, the 4th of July. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But now you can't, but you so... can't ever make that statement again. I know, but I was, I when I heard you. it... I yeah, no, just... I got a movie out now. Uh, you're Joe so humble would... about this stuff. I know. And it's not like a little bit part. Listen. We have to hear about how... the JAG Award, but we don't hear that you're in the, the 4th the, of July. I just barely heard about... SAG Award. Oh, SAG Award. I was Sorry. never a judge ad- <laughs> advocate general. No. <laughs> I, I, was I don't know what a JAG Award. You played one. I have to this point, I have never been court martial. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying it's not That's coming. only because you haven't been in the armed forces. forces. <laughs> Had I been. <laughs> Look, if I was ever in the armed forces, it would have lasted the first day. Right. The first time someone asked me to get up at 545 <laughs> and run five miles, <laughs> yeah. someone would have had a, an M15 up their ass, and that would have been the end of it. <laughs> and then they asked you to yeah. drive the yeah. um, armored... Whatever that, those yeah. big rigs the are. Big, yeah, yeah. And you pull out I'd your license. You. I'd that. love to see you drive a tank. I could drive That'd be tank. awesome. I've been in a tank. You have? Yeah. Did you uh, drive it? Our buddy, Did you hit any of those buttons up front? Our buddy, uh, Matt Light, who has the Matt Light Foundation, he does oh. good work with inner city kids. He bought a tank. No, he, he didn't buy him a he, tank. He bought a tank. For the kids? Just to uh, have. Oh, yes, really? he can. <laughs> they, they, they don't sell tanks because they can't have the, the, the gun on It's a troop transporter, and it's, just, it's a tank without the turret on it, without right. the, the gun on it. But we, we've ridden around in that. I like to buy a duck so boat. I'd love to ride around the tank all day. Oh, yeah. So you bring it on the highway or anything, or where do you, where do you bring it? I don't think it's registered. He's just, got property, it, oh, and you can okay. you'd bring it places, trailer it or whatever. This is the right. second time we brought up Matt Light's name today. Was he in, like, the top three worst... Uh, comedy uh, shows you've been at? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they hired me to do a show for... Uh, oh, sorry, Chrissy. Uh, <laughs> we need She's still got here right right from last we need time. Some, I yeah. saw that word blurred out of your mouth again. I know. Uh, they hired me to do uh, uh, a reunion for the 2001 Patriots. Uh, they were celebrating whatever year it was, uh, them winning the Super Bowl. And they go, oh, we'll have some comedians... It was myself and Orlando Baxter, and uh, it was the worst show. Wasn't it open bar for like 10 hours they, before that? Everybody gets up and does a speech. Uh, they, you know, they're all glad him, and some of them haven't seen each other for a while. And these are giant men, and, and their wives, and everybody's decked out, and we're in one of the field boxes at uh, Gillette Stadium, and they, uh, they finish up, and they go, all right, the bar's open. Uh, dessert served, now comedy. Uh. And everybody <laughs> scatters. Everybody scatters. And or- Orlando went on first. And uh, Matt White and uh, I think Joanne Druzy and their wives put chairs like so we'd have four people to work for. Other than that, <laughs> other than that, you'd never know there was anybody on stage. Robert Kraft is about six feet from me, and I'm going, Mr. Kraft. Mr. Kraft, <laughs> just fucking ignoring me completely, like nothing, glad-handed, shake, you know, hitting each, you know, punching so each you, other. So you with guys rings. are like just like some like white noise well, just behind white noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, At least you got your paycheck. I go, you can, we yeah. go, we're going to do our time because we have to do our paycheck. Right. Matt White sits down and breaks a chair. <laughs> <laughs> he breaks a chair. And what did he say? And, Nothing. He just, didn't offend. And that was the funniest part of the night. That was the best part of the night. <laughs> and I actually kept a piece of the chair. And then the next year when we did the shootout, he does a shootout every year in Rhode Island, skeet shooting and stuff. I, I had the, ch- the back of the chair and presented him with it. Oh. <laughs> Autographed That's by awesome. everybody. Yeah. You were, yeah. you were at one, uh, doing one comedy show. I wish my son-in-law, Mike Flynn, was here because he'll remember sorry. this. So. Uh, but someone, they were, it, was, uh, it was at Foxborough. And they're all heckling you guys on stage. So Mike Flynn thinks the best, best toss I've ever done in my life, with they were giving out little balls, which doesn't make a lot of sense at comedy yeah. nights there. So I drilled one off one guy's head, head. in the back Yeah, you're, you're being somebody. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It was yeah. the best yeah. throw I had in a long time. Yeah. You did that? Yeah, he I did. D- I did do he that. He did. Yeah. Yeah, and it wasn't. It was. It was. A, you had to play the current. It wasn't. It wasn't easy there. <laughs> oh no! It was. A, it looked like it a wasn't slider. a direct. It right. like oh, a okay. It wasn't a direct. Yeah, yeah. bang. Yeah. Wasn't a speedball to the head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did a celebrity tournament once, and uh, my ex-wife said, <clears throat> "Who's the celebrity you're golfing with?" <laughs> <laughs> 
would oh, I did. Celebrity. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I get there, and the side of the wall has all the four, five sums. has four people like this, and then the famous person like this. And then Johnny Pesky. This was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Bob Newmeyer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. people from Boston and everything. One guy yeah. walks right up to my name. He goes, who the fuck is Frank Santorelli? <laughs> So you were feeling pretty good about yourself that it day, was great. huh? I did no, I've done that. I've been on the tee box and standing there, and people go, "Who's our celebrity?" <laughs> I, I don't know. I did a I did a golf tournament. It was a it was a rainy day, and uh, I did it with one of our broker friends in Reading, and uh, um, and we had a celebrity. It was raining. It was just a, not a great day to golf, and. Uh, just he was very cranky. I shouldn't mention his name, but his name is John Tudor. Yeah, uh, that's just between us, and hopefully our listeners. Who's really? John Tudor? He's uh, used to a Red Sox pitcher. Oh. So, hey. so about oh, yeah. s- seventh hole, he goes, "I got shit to do. I'm out of here." <laughs> 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 and that's our celebrity. We yeah. paid for this. Yeah. We paid for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you I have the, the Gav, Don Gavin, a dear friend of ours. Uh, I can't picture him golfing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, we, we do this. Uh, <laughs> how do you know, just, how, do you know how to get there? there? We do the Bavis tournament every year. It just happened this past weekend. But a couple of years back, right before the pandemic, the last one, he was with some, you know, he got paired up with people to, to be their celebrity, whatever. Yeah. And he lasted four holes. <laughs> and he looks at him in a very gaff way. He goes, uh, uh, listen, I got to catch a plane. Uh, I got to go. And he just, he drives off. So they take the turn, and Gav's sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> drinking. Drinking. On the, on the right, at, at the bar. And they go, don't we yeah, have to catch a plane? He goes, yeah, yeah, not today. <laughs> you know he has no sense of direction. You know that. Gav? Yeah. yeah. Oh, please. I, I, or... or yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. no, I, I, know, I know what you're referencing. Yeah. We had uh, dinner one night at your friend George Ravenis. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank Steakhouse. Yeah. Lovely place. It's great Not place. an official sponsor. <laughs> uh, as of yet. As of yet. Well, That's I'm just your opinion. My opinion. Place in Cambridge. It doesn't reflect. Yeah, right on Mass Ave in Cambridge. It doesn't reflect the opinion Gav, of the station. W- Gav was on Mass Ave. He was on Mass Ave. <laughs> And he couldn't find the place. Couldn't find the place. <laughs> he was within 200 yards. He could have walked there. I was out front talking him in on the phone. I oh, saw yeah. him drive by. Oh, yeah. I know. He, he oh, was yeah. confused because yeah. um, it probably said Mass Ave, and his directions probably said he was on Massachusetts. Massachusetts, yeah, right. Yeah. right, right so right, right. finally, good, good the fourth time he goes by me, he goes, where's this place? I go, turn your head. I'm standing right here. <laughs> we had, we, he, he did a uh, fundraiser for us, oh, my and God. my clock was so nervous about trying to get him there. He says, all right, Don, get to Giggles, and then we'll get your directions I remember it. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think he, he had to be driven there, right? Uh, no, but I had to work, work with him on the phone the yeah, whole yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, uh, This is the second time, because the first time he gets to Giggles, and I call him. I said, Donnie, where are you? He goes, I don't know. I'm seeing <laughs> Cape Cod signs. <laughs> uh, no, 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 Cape Ann signs. So at least it wasn't Cape Cod. Yeah. Right, right. But he had taken a right oh, instead yeah. of a left, oh. and he's in Rockport. I said, no, no, North Reading. He goes, well, I'm on some rotary. I go, well, go around the rotary and go back exactly where you, yeah. yeah. Here, here's the best one. My, our buddy, Artie Januario, the notoriously bad Isn't with he a directions. pharmacist? He's a pharmacist and a very funny Is he that one. bad? He gives out prescriptions. Yeah, 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 yeah. He calls me. I give him literally turn-by-turn directions from his door to the Borgata in Atlantic City. Yeah. I knew, you know, I knew the route. You mean from where he lives exactly. here? From in Bill Ricker. All the way. All to, the way. Turn by turn directions. Yeah, yep. So he goes, Well, how am I gonna get home? <laughs> I go, I go, well, just reverse those directions. And it'll bring you right to your door. So it, you know, it's about a five and a half or six hour drive. Yeah. So I get a call about four o'clock in the afternoon on the days coming home, and he goes, uh, Tony. I go, Yeah, Artie. He goes, um, was I supposed to go over the George Washington Bridge twice? I go, and I say, Artie, you know, never in the history of directions, ever. Do you go to the same has, place twice? Has, has it said, go over a bridge, turn around, and come back over the same bridge? Has, I, does that make any sense on any level? Oh, my goes, God. Well, I guess when you put it that way. But he's the man that claims he can do a 50-year title search. Oh, yeah, which, wow. which sure. he has. Of course. And none of, none of the, I shouldn't say Adi, but I know Don Gavin has no concept of uh, uh, voicemail either. 
I'll call. No, no. I'll, oh, oh I'll, he's I'll, terrible on the phone. I'll call him, and the thing rings for. Tw- I go, you don't have voicemail? <laughs> no, I don't know how to work that. I don't know, I don't know how to it work it. Yeah, I don't know how to set oh it up there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know how anyway. he's. We he's could not, do this all day. Yeah. I know. With Gavin. Oh, oh yeah. I got, I got five stories right now ready to go. <laughs> go ahead. I got Give five us of your, his best jokes, oh, yeah. too. Give us your best Don Gavin story. Someone stole his shoes on an airplane. He takes his shoes off to go to sleep. To L.A., to Boston. It's in the Boston 10 o'clock at night, stretching and everything. Goes I can on. picture this. No, I'm sorry. Not even before they land. An hour before they land, he can't find his shoes. <laughs> he goes, what the heck? He gets on his hands and knees. He, there's nothing. He goes over to the stewardess. He goes, um, I think someone stole my shoes. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> so we get three people down there now. <laughs> and so they call him privately, and they go, um, we, we really can't accuse anyone. <laughs> he goes, Someone stole my shoes right out from under the thing. <laughs> yeah, but all we can do is give you a voucher for fifty dollars. For he goes, it's ten o'clock at night. Well, am I gonna- I'm getting into Logan Airport. There isn't even going to be a snack bar open, let alone a shoe store. <laughs> so he walked off the plane in his stocking feet. No, out to the cab, got a cab, and went home with no shoes on. So oh he God. literally did lose the shoes. Yeah, they. Someone- I thought I thought it was a Steve Sweeney story where he lost his car. Suppose no, no, you heard that no, one, no. right? Oh yeah. He supposedly lost his car. Sure. During, you know, he, for whatever reason, we know Steve might not always be here on this planet with us all. Um, but he he loses his car. He thought it was stolen. He's calling <laughs> calling in his stolen car. He he just had to wait till everyone left the whole stadium, and it was sitting where he <laughs> originally died. Okay, so it's a gig at, at the Comedy Connection, Faneuil Hall, <laughs> benefit. He's hosting. I'm in the wings. There's 20 comedians is in the back. Is this Steve Sweeney or Darn No, Gavin? no, this is Gavin. He goes, ladies okay. and gentlemen. And he looks over and he goes, this next guy coming on the stage is a puppeteer. <laughs> and uh, he's a, he has a lot of marionettes, a lot of little puppets and characters. In fact, a little known fact, he makes his own puppets. Please welcome Frank Santorelli. The comedians in the back are howling. There is an audible, oh, when he says puppets. The whole place goes, oh, there's going to be puppets. I come out, I do seven minutes. It doesn't go well at all. People are going like this. Where are your puppets? Over, the puppets. over. I walk off. The comedians are howling because they said they actually heard people going, what the fuck happened to the puppets? Where were the puppets? Two people got up and walked over to Joey Sandigate and said, did he or did he not say puppets? My mother is very upset. <laughs> you said there was going to be puppets. And we're howling with laughter. Ma'am, uh, they, they play tricks on each other all the time. Well, that's not funny. <laughs> she says, this is your mother saying that? You, no, no. Yeah, like some woman in the crowd. Oh, yeah. But say. he goes, my mother's very upset. She wanted puppets. <laughs> This guy is a puppeteer. This uh, might be a good time to remind people for all your real estate needs. <laughs> called Carter Law. 781 944. I got a real estate thing. Did you know that a house here, same house here in Ohio, $200,000 less? Oh, easily. Yeah, because you're oh. in fucking Ohio. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? That's your, that's your real estate fact? That's all you're This market is insane. I can, buy a, I can buy a house here for, that's worth $400,000 for 125 in, in if, Ohio. If well, like your want, math doesn't add up. If you bought a new house, I guarantee that the morning you wake up in that new house, you'd open your eyes and go, wait, I'm in Ohio? <laughs> and I paid how much? I would. <laughs> I'm just saying. Two hundred thousand. That's his fact. All right. Well, at least we it's talked true. real estate. It's absolutely true. <laughs> I'm buying a house there. No, you're not. I'm not buying a house here. What are you crazy? I can get a mansion for one hundred fifty thousand in Cleveland. You're not going to. You want to move to Cleveland? You'll be in Cleveland. Yeah. Why don't you go to Detroit? You get it for six grand. You know, there's a reason. <laughs> like, do you ever go to a shoe store and there's one pair of shoes left? It's because nobody wanted those shoes. What, those almond shoes yeah. with the big flowers right. on it? Wow. And you can get them for 20 bucks. Stop making no fun wants. of my city. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad enough. Mistake by the lake. You know, the place I, where the river caught fire. You know why it's called that? Why? Because the river caught fire. The, no, what happened was there was a guy standing there <laughs> filming. What more do you need to know? We, can, we, we can started leave. the whole <laughs> thing. We started um, Earth Day. It was started in Ohio. Because there was a man standing there, and a camera was on him, and he went da 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 da, and a piece of wood floating in the water in flames went by <laughs> as really? he was talking behind him, and the cameraman went like this and followed it, and people said, "Was that thing on fire in the water?" Is, the, it, the, is this the, true? This is true. Okay. The water was so nasty that it forced people to clean the Cleveland Harbor, and then Boston was next. 
Oh, Love that dirty I water. Swear, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's a true story. So you know they, why, that's why they call it the mistake by the lake and the place where the river caught fire. You seem to have a lot of answers. Well, it sounds like he's I moving to there. Ohio. Oh, you did? I grew up there. Hey, can, oh. I, can I ask you this? Sure. When the ducks are flying south, <laughs> <laughs> one has a long line. How come? How come, Frank? You know, <laughs> in a similar vein. Go to Giggles, and you'll be able to hear that answer. Did you, you ever go to a grocery store? I have. And you're looking for seltzer, you know, yep. bottled yeah. bubbly yeah, yeah, yeah. water. Yep. And there's, there's 40 bottles of raspberry limeade <laughs> and no regular seltzer. Right. No, you I just know. want to go to a, buy less of that and more of the stuff that's, that's not right. here. That's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How, how, do, how do I know that and people don't? How do you, do you ever go to a cereal aisle? I have yeah. four fathers are rolling around. There's got to be 250 options to that's go right. with. Yeah. yeah. And they're all the same. Right, Just a right, different, different packaging name. of the same foolishness. Wow, is that on your list of things that's to talk about? That's on my list of talk about. That's real yeah, yeah, that's, uh, uh, Oftentimes, they will leave a trail of cereal leading up to a house right. that's not theirs. <laughs> right. And as you're picking it and eating it, you The porridge. You, yeah, so that's yeah. part of a real estate yeah, scheme that we're going to get to. Yeah. I know we're going to get to. Really? <laughs> in the last minute and a half of the show. <laughs> well, since, since we're telling funny, um, funny comedian, yep. Steve Sweeney comes to one of our events. I oh, think yeah. it was a... Uh, was this um, after someone got murdered? <laughs> oh, no, no was that was Lenny. Remember that? That was Lenny, that yeah. Was, no, he stood up and he goes, I'm here for Ricky Carter. I don't even know what this event is about, <laughs> but we're raising money for something. And oh, someone but, yells, Reading Baseball. And he goes, oh, my God. These, those poor, poor kids in Reading, they have no money. And now it's all Reading yeah, parents, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, with, with, and they're like, he's like, they're, just, they're still using sticks and, uh, <laughs> and um, I don't know what kind of ball, whatever his yeah, joke yeah, yeah, was. Yeah. But it didn't, that joke well, didn't go well, over we, very well. We, uh, I mean, we had this, well, you know, very, yeah. very elaborate, um, you know, fundraiser. Oh, it was huge. It was huge. Yeah. We had a million people in there. Yeah. We had the... Uh, Miss, Tony, Miss, Tony and Lenny were there. They're always there. They used there. to do yeah. the auction. They used yeah. to do the auction. Yeah. We'd yeah, have yeah. Miss Massachusetts there. We'd yeah. have some athletes there. And I was there. You, you were there. there. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. getting to that. Yeah. I was building up to that one. <laughs> Paralegal extraordinary. Uh, we'd have the, like, the Reading base. So some, someone came up and he goes, what is this for? They thought like some poor family's house burned down right. or something. I go, no, we're trying to raise money to get fences on the softball field. Oh, the scoreboard. Oh, the scoreboard, scoreboard. scoreboard. They, they, were hor yeah. they were horrified. Horrified. That there was all that effort yeah. to get a scoreboard. But the way yeah. Steve Sweeney's like, I don't even know what I'm here for. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. We're like, wake up, Steve. Right. Wake oh, up. Yeah. <laughs> I one time did an uh, auction to raise money f for uh, an ice rink on uh, Martha's Vineyard. An ice ring on Martha's uh, on Vineyard. Martha's, they wanted to build an you ice how, rink. You know how big that is down yeah, in Martha's Vineyard. Right. And I go, you know, this is pointless. Any one of you humps could reach into your front pocket and yeah. build it right now. And I got to auction <laughs> off a bike <laughs> so you can have an ice rink? You people are pathetic. Remember, remember <laughs> one of the first ones you did for us was like during one of the recessions we had. Yeah. No one wanted to. Oh, my could God. Could barely get in there to pay yeah. for a ticket. And we brought out, I think it was a Jason Veritek baseball. Not the biggest demand in the world. And he's trying to get money out of that crowd. And oh, yeah. You were heckling at oh, that yeah. point. Oh. Oh, What's yeah. wrong with you people? What's wrong with you people? Uh, yeah. you, yeah, you know, they, you know, they you know it's an auction. You don't know how an there. auction works. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you go, what are you guys doing? You're embarrassing <laughs> us. What are you doing? <laughs> I could sell ice to an Eskimo. And <laughs> oh, listen. That was, that was rough. But you, yeah. you, you got it out of it. That was tough there. So yeah. I wonder if we should just tease our next show with, with Frank. Right. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, it's going to be more of the same. I didn't say there was going to be other content. No. <laughs> but I'm wondering if we should do that, or should we still tell a yeah, couple more? Yeah, tease it. Go ahead. All right, so what we're going to do is talk about, in honor of the Sopranos, yep. in, in different scams that they might have pulled, we're going to talk about some real estate scams. Nothing we probably, we've probably mentioned it over in the last last couple of years yeah, yeah. here, but, you know, with Frank here, we might well, as well. with the mob, he knows all about the mob, right? How'd you get that job anyway? I went to an audition. <laughs> That's it? I just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, stand-up. In Boston, got us to go to New York. Yeah, and we started working stand up New York. We started working Caroline's, all these clubs in New York, and then there's agents and managers and stuff. Plus, I already had this guy from Boston. His name was Barry Katz. 
he was my manager. And then yeah. he, he sounds left. sounds like a manager. And I ended up with a real good guy named no. Vincent Nastry. And he would set you up with auditions. You have to have somebody set you up with auditions. Right. Yeah. And so anyway, I went in and I read for this thing. And James Gandolfini was there, David Chase, and Georgiana Walken. Christopher Walken's real wife. Wow. It was the Georgiana Walken Jaffe casting. Yeah. And they're all sitting there. And the lines are, the very first scene you see me on the screen, is hello, hello, hello. And I look and I go, it's a fucking menu. Hello, hello, hello. Those were the lines. That was it. I'm done. Nobody says anything. I go, if I get this, I'm going to need more lines. <laughs> she was the only one that laughed. Everybody else was like this. Did you mean in the, in the show? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, if okay. I get the right. part, I'm going to need more you lines. You don't want to show up in New York the, and go, hello, It was the 80s. Hello. It was the 80s. The 80s so. so a week later, uh, they called me. And he said, you know, that Soprano thing, you got that. I said, I did? He goes, yeah. It's one day. It was one shooting day. And uh, at that day, I was balancing things on my nose, and I was juggling, and I was doing all kinds of making everybody laugh. And so went into them. Though they put big David oh, yeah. Chase because they put big tattoos on this guy. Are those tattoos real? <laughs> <laughs> Can I see them? They were huge. All she just made it up as she was going along, and so um, it was all done. And well, that's uh, not easy to do because they're going to have to do that each show. Right. Well, the, they took the bottom line was I was ready to leave, and David Chase busted the door of the makeup room. Take pictures of those tattoos. Turns around and walks out, and she goes because I was such a novice. This is huge. I said, "Why?" She goes, "This means you're coming back." Nice. And I said, "Really?" It wasn't positive, but anyway, they took pictures. Yeah. So, so every time I had to be there it. five hours early. Wow. Wow. So they could put these giant tattoos on my arm all the way down like this on both sides. It took five hours. I had to sit like this, which might take and take my shirt off, which caused audible gasps <laughs> from the women there because I'm just <laughs> fucking ripped. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so it took five hours to put them on. I had to be there at 5 a.m., and then they wouldn't let me park in the lot. You know? <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> I was Georgie. <laughs> they didn't know who I was yet. You know? oh, so I anyway, you, I, I showed you. up for the next time I was on, and they said, you can't park here. I said, no, no, I can park here. And I just shut my door, and the guy was like, he was mad at me, you know. <laughs> you can't I, park here. I one time had my entire body painted blue. Oh, I, know. I remember oh, yeah. that. What was that? You I were forgot. like King Neptune. Or... It was Neptune. Neptune. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm standing there, and I had about 80 more pounds on me than I do right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm standing there in a speedo. <laughs> me, you know, this is this is that's a tough visual. Tony. Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> and, and just for the record, uh, in a Japanese speedo. I'm a 4X <laughs> at the time. I don't know how those people... Now you're starting to show yeah, off now I at know. this point. Anyway, uh, I had my entire body waxed, wow. which is one of the most painful I was wondering things about that. Oh, yeah, I've boy. ever been through. And I got a team of people with spray guns painting me blue. Really? And it's just like another day at work. Wow. Know? Wasn't this a gold... Go with, uh, it was a gold, yeah. It's called Misfits and Monsters. Yeah. 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 It was very good. That was and cool. And just for the record, I understand women... <laughs> Have uh, waxing done routinely in a in a intimate area? Yeah, stop it. <laughs> no need. No need. Especially with how we grew up. Yeah. Playboy magazine. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Bush was everything. Yeah, everything. Oh my god. That's all we wanted to see. That's it. Now you guys take it away? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There was. I remember seeing Terry Porson at the beach when I was like 17. We came back. We said. There was a showing in her bathing suit. We could see it. They're like, what? And one of her boobs popped out. We, it was like viral, 1972. The whole school knew. Well, well, well no, well, no, I, I know, I know. Well, you, you got what? some. You got... I have a new ending. Okay. Because uh, I thought that yeah. ending was pretty good. None of the nope. <laughs> none of the content you heard today is is condoned by Carter Law. Yes, no, right. And so I, my um, our marketing guy yep. says yep. to say thank you for joining us here on the Real Estate Host Party. Make sure to um, look up Carter Law Office on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and if you've been a client with us, please leave a five star review on Facebook and or Google. 
You know what the saddest part of nice. this? That was very That nice, is Kat. the most content we had on the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Frank, and will you come back maybe yeah, in a absolutely. couple of weeks? Thank you. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure that anyone who sat through that show is going to rush <laughs> to find out how, who, who's going to handle their closing. Yeah. How, many, how, many, how many five-star reviews are we going to get out of this show? Uh, I think a lot. Yeah, a lot. A lot. Right? I thought you were saying too. five spot. I thought you were talking about five dollars <laughs> <laughs> Just leave $5 on the doorstep. That works, too. <laughs> well, if you guys have any other real estate questions. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't call us. Move to Ohio. Hello <laughs> to Ohio. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in the Real Estate House Party. Kathy Holtz House, apparently mm-hmm. extraordinaire. Tony V, coming yeah. up at the Fenway Park. Fenway Park, Woo! August, any, August 21st. I cannot That's wait. Good. And Frank Cinerelli of the Sopranos. Don't Thanks, get up. Frank. Don't get up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have Frank back in a couple weeks. All right. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.